say, oh yeah. Come on, put your hands on it. Jesus will. Jesus will. I know he will because he said he will. Oh yeah. Jesus will. Jesus I said, I know he will. He said he will. He'll fight my battle. If I keep still, if I keep still, I know that he will. Oh, Jesus will. Jesus will. Come on, everybody, say, Oh yeah. Do you really believe it? Jesus will. I know he will because he said he will. Just for ushering us in his presence. Amen. Y'all sounding so good. Make me want to join the choir. Can I join the choir? Amen. They say stick to preaching. Amen. Amen. I'm going to fool y'all one of these days. Hallelujah, God. Amen. Those of you who have your Bibles, those of you who have your Bibles, turn with me to Proverbs, the 18th chapter. The scripture has already been read in your hearing, but we want to read it again. Turn to Proverbs, 18th chapter. We'll be reading one verse today. That'll be the 10th verse. Eight, Proverbs 18 and 10. While you're there, put your finger right there. I'm going to read another scripture in your hearing, and then we'll come right back to that scripture. Is that all right? Before we get back to Proverbs, let me read from Colossians 3 and 17. Hear what Paul wrote to the Colossian church. And it reads, And whatsoever ye do, in word or deed, do all in the name of Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Whatever you do in word or deed, do it in the name of Jesus. Our text today, our Proverbs 18 and 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Watch this. The righteous runneth to it and is safe. End of the, end of the scripture right there. I want to talk from the subject today. You're safe in here. You're safe in here. 
You may be seated if you can. You're safe in here. I'm hearing a little bit of loudness on the speaker a little bit. Uh, the goal of us being a safe place is for one to feel safe. Uh, for one to feel happy. For one to feel calm and secure. And while we're declaring uh, this to be a safe place, uh, we realize that the safest place is in the will and in the hand of Jesus. Uh, if you don't already know it, uh, if you don't know it by now, uh, you'll know it before uh, the day is up, that, watch this, there's power in the name of Jesus. Uh, watch this, Reverend. There's, there, there's power to heal. It's through the name of Jesus. The power to save is in the name of Jesus. Uh, power to deliver is through the name of Jesus. Uh, power, watch this, to overcome anything is through the name of Jesus. Uh, watch this, blessings on blessings on blessings is in the name of Jesus. Oh, victory is in the name of Jesus. Y'all with me this morning? Uh, protection is in the name of Jesus. Uh, by nature, watch this, we are Jesus' name people. Uh, we, we, we call out evil spirits in the name of Jesus. Uh, we cast out demons and devils in the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray in the name of Jesus. We sing in the name of Jesus. We preach and teach in the name of Jesus. Our elders, watch this, they anoint and lay hands on people in the name of Jesus. Our visitors, when we, our ministers, when we can, we, we visit the hospital and the sick in the name of Jesus. Uh, our people, watch this, uh, we go to work and, and, and we go to work in the name of Jesus. Uh, if you don't do this, then you should start it right now. You should send your kids off to school in the name of of Jesus. I might have somebody here already. Uh, we pray over our meals in the name of Jesus. Uh, we call on the name of Jesus in times of trouble. Uh, we dedicate our babies in the name of Jesus. We bury the dead in the name of Jesus. As a matter of fact, we can be honest here today, sometimes we cuss folk out in the name of Jesus. Are y'all praying with me this morning? We marry our young in the name of Jesus. We, we gather in the name of Jesus. We, we lay hand on the sick in the name of Jesus. We baptize in the name of Jesus. Are there any Jesus' name people in the house today? Oh, if you know what I'm talking about, raise your hand and say, yes, I love the name of Jesus. Oh, just talking about him, I can feel him already in the room. Oh, yes, he's in the room today. The Bible is a book about Jesus. Uh, everything in the Old Testament, uh, it looks forward to Jesus Christ. Uh, the Gospels are filled, watch this, with the times and, and the miracles of Jesus. Uh, the Episcopals, uh, watch this, uh, they look back to, to Jesus the Christ. Uh, the Bible teaches that Jesus is God, manifest in the flesh. Are y'all praying with me this morning? Uh, he is the image of the invisible God, and, and all the fullness of the Godhead is in him. Oh, Jesus is a, a God manifest in the flesh. As a matter of fact, Jesus is God with us. Are y'all praying with me here today? Oh, Jesus is our Savior. Oh, Matthew says, uh, and it is the season of Matthew says this, and, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Oh, there's another name. Uh, there's no other name like the name Jesus. I heard Peter say, watch this. I heard Peter say, silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, I give to thee. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus the Christ. He says, watch this. Rise, uh, rise and walk. And he took him by the right hand. And, and the man got up and immediately strength came to his feet. Uh, his bones received strength because he said it in the name of Jesus. 
And the scripture says the man got up leaping and dancing into the sanctuary. Oh, that's power in his name. Uh, watch this. And all that happened, watch this, because it was his faith in Jesus' name. Uh, uh, it was the faith that he had in Jesus' name that made him strong. Uh, let that be branded in your mind today. Let that be settled, uh, settled in your spirit today. Watch this. And uh, let that get in your spirit. Uh, uh, there's power in his name. Uh, watch this. That's, that's power in his name. Man. And our faith must be in his name. Well, watch this. You got to have faith in his name. Because, because watch this. When you have faith in his name, things can happen on your behalf. Oh, I have, a, I have a friend of mine who, who needed a new car, and, and he, he called me and said, man, I, I, need, I need to get me a new car. And I often tell this to not only my friends, but I tell it to my family members, uh, when you need a car, uh, go out there to Michael Jordan Nissan. And, 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 and there's a brother of mine that I'm close to, that he's out there, and he, you, you say my name, and he'll hook you up. Uh, all you got to do uh, is, is just say my name. And you'll find favor. Uh, but truth of the matter is, uh, just because you, you say Taz sent me or, 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 or Mr. Atkins or, or Pastor Atkins sent you, don't mean you're going to get a car. I might have somebody in here today. Uh, you see, sometimes we think we, uh, our name got more power uh, than it really has. Uh, you, you can say my name, but watch this. you still going to pay for that car. I might have somebody in here today. Uh, oftentimes we think we have more power behind our name than we really have. But when you call on his name, uh, the, the real power is in the name of Jesus. Oh, I don't want to make you mad today. I want to uh, upset your, your theology today. But watch this. Uh, uh, the power is not in the prayer. The power is not in the length of your prayer. Uh, the power is not in the person praying the prayer. Watch this. Uh, the power is not in uh, the, the place that you offer the prayer. The power is not in the volume of your prayer. Uh, uh, the, the, the power is in the name of Jesus. It's in his name through faith. Watch this. It's in his name is where the power is. Well, I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're dealing with. But you, I need you to know today. I need you to understand that there's power in his name. That's power in his name. And, and don't ever take it for granted, the revelation of the name of Jesus. Uh, don't, 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 don't ever take it for granted that, that you've been buried and baptized in the name of Jesus. Uh, don't ever take it for granted that, that you know the power that's in his name. Well, watch this. Uh, to be honest, uh, every person in this building uh, has faced or, or is facing or will face battles beyond your control. Uh, watch this. You will have financial battles. Uh, you will have physical battles. Uh, you will have marital battles. You will have uh, spiritual battles. You watch this. You'll even have psychological battles. I come to tell you that no matter the problem, uh, Jesus is the answer. Oh, how are y'all praying with me this morning? No matter uh, what the problem is, Jesus is the the answer. All you have to do is just call on his name. Are y'all helping me this morning? Uh, when you're going through and you're dealing with some things, all you have to do is call on his name. Well, preacher, man, I, I'm too weary. I, I got some issues and, and, and I don't know how to pray. Pastor, I don't know. I don't know what I need to say. A uh, uh, good teacher, I don't speak uh, uh, the King James language. Uh, uh, I, I don't need. I need to know. I don't need to know. I don't know everything that I can do. But all you got to know is I'm calling on His name. Uh, I don't know a lot of scripture. I don't understand. I, I can't break down scripture. I can't. I can't. I can't read text and, and, and apply it like I should. But all you got to do is call on His name. I might help somebody here today. Uh, watch this. When you call his name, uh, you face mountains uh, that seem too high, but you can never get over it. Uh, too low to get under, uh, too wide to get around. Just call on his name. Uh, when you're struggling uh, with your issues, uh, just call on his name. Uh, when you're ready to throw in a towel, just call on his name. When folk get on your nerve and, and when they get on your, uh, your, your everlasting nerve, watch this. Just call on his name. When people mistreat you and, and talk about you, just call on his name. And watch God come and see about your situation. 
But when you feel alone and you feel forsaken, just call on his name. No matter how dark the night, no matter how big the problem, no matter how deep the valley, no matter how ferocious the foe is, just call his name. Are there anybody here that can call his name today? Is there anybody here to know that if you call his name, God will come and see about you? Oh, when we look at the text today, Proverbs 18 and 10, it says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and is safe. How Jesus said in Matthew and John 14, And whosoever asks in my name, that will I do. Uh, nothing will happen, watch this, if you ask in Buddha's name. Uh, nothing will happen if you ask in, in, in pastor name or bishop name or, or in the name of Allah. Watch this. Nothing can happen. But if you ask in Jesus' name, uh, when you lift him up and, and when you magnify his name, God will come and see about you. Oh, when I says, oh, uh, when you ask in his name, things begin to happen. Oh, I, I, I was reading Philippians, uh, in the Philippians text, watch this, it says, Therefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at that name Jesus, every knee shall bow. Everything in heaven and things on earth and, and things under the earth shall bow down and worship him. I told you this before in Bible study, and I don't mind telling you this again, but watch this. Things in heaven are angels. Uh, things on earth are men. And things under the earth are, are, are demons. Uh, when you read that text and you read it in the, in the Greek, watch this, that, that, that things mean those. Uh, those things in heaven are angels. Those things uh, on earth are men. Those things under the earth are demons. Uh, 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 nothing else in this entire Bible is said to have more power to move all three realms of life. Uh, watch this. Number one, angels, at that name, angels are dispatched. Angels are given charge of your situation. Angels are, look, are, are, are dispatched to protect you. Uh, uh, angels are, are an angelic hosts, uh, uh, watch this, will see about your problem. You have angels, watch this, at that name, angels are dispatched, uh, watch this, to battle things on your behalf. And watch this, too, the will of man is subject to the will of God. Uh, God can and will change the minds of men towards you. Oh, people can talk about you and, and mistreat you all they want to, but, but when you call on the name of Jesus, it changed the heart and the minds of men. Uh, God will cause men and, and it will cause women to show you favor. Uh, when they th they're talking about you, they're they, they breaking you down. All they're doing is, is, is giving you favor over your life. Uh, thirdly, watch this, and lastly, watch this, demons tremble. Uh, demons will flee at the name of, Je at, at the name of Jesus. But watch this, it's the only thing that can keep them at bay. It's the only thing that they respect. Uh, the demons, watch the demons and devils and imps, uh, they don't respect your life. They don't respect your relationship. They don't respect what you got going on. But when you call on the name of Jesus, the demons have to loose their hold. The demons have to flee. Uh, Paul wrote in Hebrews uh, uh, 13 to 8, he said, Christ is the same yesterday uh, and today and forever. Anything he's done at that time, he can do now. Oh, God was in the blessing business then. He's in a blessing, blessing uh, ministry now. Anything he's done for anyone else, he can do for you. Anything he's done anywhere, he can do right here in the valley. All you got to do is just call on his name. Uh, watch this. We've talked about how powerful his name is. Uh, we've talked about uh, 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 how his word can change our situation. Uh, we talked about uh, that in times of trouble, just call on his name. Uh, we've learned that when you call uh, uh, on the name of Jesus, uh, he will come and see about you. Uh, but we didn't talk about why it's safe in here. Well, it's safe in here because uh, when you come in here, uh, when you enter these doors, you, uh, uh, watch this, we're going to lift up the name of Jesus. Uh, when you come in this house, watch this, you're going to find us calling on the name of Jesus. And watch this, and when, when you find us calling on the name of Jesus, we ain't worried about what's going on outside these walls. Uh, we're trying to get God to see our situation. We're trying to see God to see about things that we're dealing with. When you call on Jesus... He will come and see about you. How am I helping somebody in here today? 
Is there anybody here this morning, this afternoon, that don't mind calling on the name of Jesus? Oh, if you would just stand to your feet and let's give God a hand praise today and say, God, I need you to, to bless my life. God, I need you to turn some things around. And I'm calling on you in the name of Jesus. There's power in his name. There's power in his name. This is your safe place. When you come to these doors, you got to realize that God is in this place. This is a no judgment zone. No matter what you did outside of what, but when you come in here, this is your safe place. Why? Because we're calling on the name of Jesus. Every issue, we're going to lay it at the altar. Every situation, we're going to give it to God. Everything that you deal with, we're going to trust God in our situation. I don't know what you're dealing with today. I don't know what you're struggling with today. But if you just call on his name, God will come and see about your situation. I don't mind calling on God. Why, you, why, why, Pastor, why, why you don't like my call on God? Because I love God so much that he took an old dope dealer like me, changed my life, turned me around, and used me for his glory. God is not a respect the person. God can use you just like he can use somebody just like me. God is the same today as he was yesterday. Even in my flaws, God saw purpose in my life. Even in my shortcomings, God saw purpose in my life. So I don't mind calling on the name of Jesus. Because what God has done for me, he'll do it for you. So when you come in here, when you come in this ministry, this is what we're going to be about. This is what we're going to be about. This is going to be your safe place. Every issue, every concern, we're going to call on the name of Jesus. Why? There's power in his name. There's power in his name. There's so much power in his name. And God loves you so much that he laid down his life. He laid down his life for, for me and for you. Hung on the cross. Took on the sins of the world. He laid on the cross. Died for me and you. So our testimony just says, has this. I was young, and now I'm old. But I've never seen the righteous forsaken. I've never seen his kids his child begging for bread. God is faithful. You can trust him at his word. He's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. I came to declare today, this is your safe place. When you come in here, we're going to bring it to the altar. God can heal you. God can change your situation. The righteous run to his name. And they are safe. Greater joy, is this a safe place? Will we lift up his name? Will we magnify God? I say this all the time. The larger we make his name. Watch this, Brandon. The smaller our problems become. When you enter these doors, just know that this is a safe place. Your secret is safe with us. Your issue is safe with us. 
This is a no judgment zone. We all got issues. From the head to the bottom. We all got proclivities and, and issues and things that we deal with. We all got issues. But we serve a God that can fix any issue that we have. Everything is in God's timing. I tell y'all, I'll, I'll be the first one to admit, I ain't always had it right. I ain't always dotted every I and, and crossed every T. Even now, sometimes I slip. But I trust God. I trust the God that he's placed in me. I trust the spirit that God has placed in my life to be a blessing to others. I know one thing without a shadow of a doubt that when we call on his name, God will come see about you. Do I have any witness in here today? Some of us are struggling today. Some of us came to these doors way down, burdened with all kinds of issues. Here's the remedy today. If you don't get nothing else today, here's the remedy. Call on his name. Give it to Jesus and watch God come see about you. It's something about the name of Jesus. It's something when you call his name. There's power in his name. As we get ready to go, if you have an issue, if you have a concern, come on, let's lay it at the altar. I'm going to be the first to bow before him. Bring that issue and concern to this altar. Let's see if God will come and do the miraculous in our life. Hallelujah. Have your way, God. Every day, your name's the same. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, how I love, how I love to call your name. Somebody call his name today. Every day, your name's the same. When my troubles surround me, and I didn't have to despair. Hallelujah. Lord, you told me you'll be right there. It seems like all my problems had just begun. But I didn't have to worry no more. They were all ready one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I love, I love how I love to call your name. Every day, your name's the same. I remember the time when I felt so all alone. Hallelujah. When I needed you, Jesus, all I had to do was call. Sometimes was in the morning, sometimes late at night. Hallelujah, God. But when I got off my knees, Jesus, everything was all right. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. My mountain mover, the lily of the valley, to call your name. Calling your name, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, every day, your name's the same, your name is the same, Jesus, oh Jesus, oh how I love. 
call your name. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Father, it's in the strong name of Jesus that we come this afternoon. God, we come bowing at your cross. Here we are, God, humble at your throne. God, we come in the name of Jesus. Asking God, as you see about our situation. God, you know everything that we struggle with today. You know how many times we fail uh, to do your will. You know how many times, God, we've messed up and we slipped up, God. But right now, in the name of Jesus, God, we lay it all at the altar. Knowing that you're a God that can fix, that can heal and do anything. So right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God, move by your spirit. God, move by your power right now, God. God, many of us are here at this altar, God. God, we're dealing with some things, God, that we're so much ashamed to even talk about, God. God, some things that we can't even tell nobody about. But God, you know all about our struggles. You know all about our pains, God. So right now, in the name of Jesus, God, we ask that you have your way in our lives. God, when we come to these doors, God, continue to make this to be a safe place, God. God, we want to run to you, God, because we're safe in your arms. Oh, God, for that, we say thank you right now, God. God, we ask right now, God, we got to search our hearts on today. Every issue, God. God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus. God, that you will open doors like never before. God, we ask you right now, God, you forgive us for anything, God, that we said or done that's against your will and your way. Create us, God, a clean heart. God, that we can worship you, God, in spirit and in truth. Oh, God, for that, we say thank you right now, God. Oh, God, we pray right now for everybody that's under the sound of my voice. God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you will touch every home, God, and and move like never before, God. Oh, God, while we're here, God, worshiping you, God, and and giving you glory, we ask, God, that you touch our homes on today. God, we ask that you bless like never before. God, some of us, God, are coming today, God, asking, God, why so much pain? Why so much temptation, God? God, help us to realize, God, that you know what's best for us. And your perfect will is for our lives. Oh, God, for that, we say thank you right now. God, I pray for covering over my brother. God, I pray right now that you would just continue to cover Brother Curtis and his wife. God, bless their family all the more. God, give them traveling mercies, God. God, if they go to that new destination, God, they will find favor in your sight. Oh, God, for that, we say thank you right now. God, we thank you right now, God, for just continue to be in our midst. God, let this be a safe place. God, continue to let this be a place of restoration. No matter what we're dealing with, when we come here, God, this is our safe place. God, we give you glory today. We give you honor. And let the Redeemer of the Lord say amen. Come on, give God a hand praise. Come on, give God a hand praise. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah.